everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Gianna. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe and you're hitting that little bell notification. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday for the foreseeable future. If you're not following me on Instagram, my Instagram is GiannaAlexis8. I am doing a much requested video today, which is a day in my life, what I eat. So today's a Sunday and it's during quarantine. So just to give you a little background, because sometimes things change during the week. Every day I have a protein shake for lunch because I'm a vegetarian. I eat mainly plant-based. I need to get my protein in on the weeks. So today I'm not doing that. So that's just like a little different than my norm. I also do intermittent fasting. So I've talked about this in my weight loss video, which I will link down below. I lost 20 pounds last year when I started doing intermittent fasting. What that means is that I eat usually between noon and like 8 p.m. I eat for eight hours and then I fast for 16. It doesn't really feel like a fast to me anymore because it's just kind of the way I structure my, my day and my life. So it's pretty, easy i usually have a meal at 12 and then another meal like around six i have some snacks i always have dessert so i'm gonna bring you along kind of show you that today my mom and i are going to the city my brother is out of town so we're gonna go there and hang out so i'm not gonna be in my kitchen or in my house today but it'll just be a fun little weekend day in my life what i eat here we go hey guys so it is about one o'clock right now usually i eat at 12 but since we drove to the city and I was packing up the food and everything. Um, it's one o'clock now and I'm eating, which is fine. I'm still gonna stop eating at eight. I like to stop eating at the same time every day. I'm gonna do a little mini charcuterie board for one. And again, I said I usually eat plant-based. Uh, cheese is like very much not a thing that I keep in my house, but I did a Trader Joe's run yesterday. And during this time, it's like, you like a little bit of comfort food, right? So I have this little $3 board that I got at Target in the dollar section, but it's like the perfect size, like the size of my hand for a little charcuterie snack board. So I'm gonna show you the, I almost said the fixins, like hello. I'm gonna show you all of the accoutrements that I have, and then I'm gonna put my camera down so you guys can watch me assemble it. Um, but these are my favorite things from Trader Joe's to put on a charcuterie board. I also follow Ain't Too Proud to Meg, on Instagram and she is my absolute inspo for all things cheese boards. She is a professional and she's incredible. Thai lime and chili cashews from Trader Joe's are amazing. I like my board to be absolutely full so nuts are a great way to fill in all the gaps because obviously if you're putting bigger things on the board there's gonna be spaces. So I fill up all my spaces and that is truly the trick to making a perfect charcuterie board is filling up every spot on the board. I bought an apple because I'm gonna do an apple heart in the center and then strawberries. I have little clementines in here. I have these things from Trader Joe's. I got, they're called candy hearts. It says intense fruity flavor with hints of ripe raspberries. These fig and olive crisps are, in my opinion, best crackers to put on a cheese board. I have this fig butter that I always use on my boards too. Fig butter elevates a board. You don't have to have fig butter, you can have honey. You can have anything that's kind of like a, a dipping. They're just Greek olives. They're from Trader Joe's. There's Katamala and green olives in there. They look like this. And for the fig butter and the olive, I have these little tiny glass dishes that I like to put them in so they don't roll all over the board. They kind of stay in one spot. I like to put a little sweet, fun thing on the board always. So I got these yesterday at Trader Joe's. They're flower gummies but it's just a little flower, so I think those are really cute. The most important thing is the cheese. This is my all-time favorite cheese from Trader Joe's. It's called Unexpected Cheddar. It is so good, and it's Spanish, and it's so good, and it has this little rind on it, and I'll show you guys how to cut it so that it's really pretty. You can make it look like really good on your board. And I know this is just for myself, and you guys are literally probably thinking I'm crazy that like I do this for myself. To make food that looks good and sit down, eat it, think about it, I think is so important. Especially now, like food is such a comfort and it's self-love, a form of self-love to make something that's beautiful and show yourself that you're worth a little beauty and a little charcuterie board, you know? So let's get going. Okay, so this is the heart apple. It's not the best one I've ever made, but you get the idea. And then this is the center of the board. So the heart is right in the middle. So now you can see I've added the strawberries to the board. And I know that leaving the leaves on isn't really practical for snacking, but it just looks so pretty this way. And do long slices down the cheese. So like that. And I will probably do like four. And if you're doing a party, you could do the whole thing. So now I have two slices. So they're cut like this. Just flip this one over. 
and lay it that way. Try and get them more uniform than I did. <laughs> like this. And then I don't have one of those cheese like cheese knives, but if you just take your knife and kind of go like that, it crumbles off. do a really simple and easy charcuterie board for one for like a lunch or a snack this is totally gonna be my lunch but what's great about it is I like to use stuff that's in season so it's spring right now strawberries are in season so I utilized that and I just these things all make me so happy so it's such a fun treat on the weekend so I'm just editing my video for Tuesday and my mom made a green smoothie with spinach, grapes, pineapple, apple, banana, and ice. It's very good. So my mom and I are gonna have a little snack. It's 5.45, usually I eat dinner at 6.30, so maybe this will be an appetizer for me. I got this pretzel bread, and one of my favorite things, this bruschetta. I'm gonna toast up this bread for us, put some bruschetta, and then I picked some fresh basil off our plant before we came over here today and put that on top and have that as a little snack. I didn't turn a timer on. Oh. Well. I burnt the bread because I didn't put a timer on. I'm still gonna put bruschetta on it. It's fine. You know, usually I wouldn't ball out this way, but since it's Sunday in quarantine and we've done charcuterie and bruschetta, we are thinking of doing these sprinkles walk into a cookie sandwich. They're brand new from Trader Joe's and doing a taste test of them. But we really want gelato that we got from the gelato vendor that comes to our town. Hey Ma, what's that like gelato vendor guy? What is that called? I think it's Vero. No, but like a gelato peddler, like he comes to town, like what does he do? Oh, so everybody on our block ordered some gelat, and we got some gelato from the gelato guy, and it looks really good. So I definitely want that when I get home. I still haven't had dinner, it's almost seven o'clock. You guys asked for this video, is what I'm saying. I'll do a day in my life eating like on a normal day one time too. This is just kind of like a fun day. We're just like having fun, so. There it is, cute. Okay, should we break it in half? Slide. It's a little sandwich cookie. It says butter cookies filled with buttercream frosting and sprinkles. Do you wanna just like? Mmm. Remember at the beginning of this when I'm like, I don't really plant-based, I promise you I do. Wow, that's good for your chocolate too. I'm not a chocolate girl. Very good. I would buy them again. Me too. Okay, so I just got back home and it's about to be eight o'clock and I don't have the energy to put my camera up on anything so I'm gonna just crouch down. I sliced up some sweet potatoes into these rounds. This is literally my favorite thing to make. Watch this and learn. It's incredible. So I have the oven preheated to 350. I have some olive oil from Trader Joe's and these are sliced up and put on a cookie sheet. So you just drizzle them with olive oil and then use some smoked paprika, salt, and pepper. You can use whatever you want here, nutritional, yeast, whatever. But this is what I find to be my most favorite because of 
the dipping sauce, which I'll show you later. So you could take your hands and just mush this around or you can just use one of these little, you know, food brush thingies and just make sure all the surfaces are covered, flip them and just cover them with all that oily, peppery goodness. We're gonna pop these in the oven at 350 for half an hour until they're like crispy to crunchy. And I'll show you how to make the dip. You literally need two ingredients for this dipping sauce. Vegan mayo, or mayo if you're into that, and sriracha. And you literally just mix equal parts in a bowl and it is flipping delicious with these sweet potatoes. So here we go. So as the potatoes cook, I just put together a little salad and it just has a bunch of stuff from the, it just has a bunch of stuff from the pantry. So it has pepitas and sun-dried tomatoes and cranberries or dried cranberries, tomatoes. And then I'm gonna put some olives and I'm gonna put some salt and pepper and balsamic glaze on there. And then my potatoes are about to be done in 20 seconds. So I got dinner. Something that I definitely forgot to say today was drink your water because I forget sometimes. These sweet potatoes are my go-to. They're so easy. They're really hot right now. They're delicious. Sweet potatoes are so yummy and this dipping sauce is unreal. Cause you never know what to put a sweet potato in. It's like, do you do ketchup? No. And a salad, who can go wrong? Thank you guys so much for coming with me on what I eat in a day, quarantine weekend edition. I will do a very normal what I eat in a day, weekday edition very shortly. But this was just kind of fun day. We had cookies, we had charcuterie. We had things that made us feel good. And that's important. Food is supposed to make you feel good. Food is fuel, right? Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Thank you.